Hi everybody, if you're new to my channel, I am Lori and you are watching... Hi everybody! As you can tell, instead of just doing a 5 star, I'm going to do a 4 and a 5 star. Because there's like 3 that I'm not quite sure if they're going to be a 5 star. There's like 3 or 4. Well, actually, I think the one might be a five star, but it could be a four star. It could be either way. I got one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I got 11 that are that I actually have, and then I got a few that come out in February. Okay. So, let's get started. First, the three. Now, some of these I did start, but I never know unless it's a like a really, really, like intense book and it gets into the action right away i never know um how i'm if it's going to be a five star until or a four or five star until i get to that you know like at least a hundred mark unless it's like a smaller book so i think i'm not that far in and there hasn't really been no action yet in this one but i think gods of jade and shadow by sylvia morano Miranda garcia could be a four star even a five star I know beautiful because Bethany loved it and gave it five stars and we like a lot like with fantasy not everything but we like I like a lot of the same books that she does so I'm excited about this one I really think it could be a five but I'm just gonna say a four just to be on the safe side like I said I did start it I'm on 72 so I know some people might think it's cheating but I've seen people that's been like you know that read pretty far and then they're like okay i'm gonna give my five star prediction you know what i mean but this but um i figured things could change you never know and yeah, this one's just good she accidentally um releases this um maya maya mayan is that how you say it god and she gets tied to him like so if he would die she would die vice versa i guess and she's got to help him find stuff in order to, um, you know, to um, help her be free. So far, it feels like it could be a four star, but I don't know. So I, I, I was going back and forth because when I first started reading, I was like, oh, maybe a three. And then I went back and I was like, maybe a four. And the last couple pages, I was like, maybe back to a three. So that's why I put this as a four. And yeah, that's why I went ahead and lit it. Um, pick it anyways this one actually I'm torn this one I think could be a four but I also could think it could be a five it's just that there's a lot of people in this it's malice by John Gwynn and right now it I'm not sure it could even be a three who knows it's one of those ones that if I can get used to the characters in the world it could surprise me and be a five, but it could also be a four. Or it could be a three. I don't know. But I don't think it would be anything lower than a three, three and a half. So, And I can't remember exactly what this is about. I know that he doesn't want to be a, a warrior. And then something happens and he has no choice but become a, a warrior. So that's another one. But I think this one really, I'm really, really thinking it's going to be a five. But I put it in the four, maybe five category. <laughs> Then we got Beyond the Ruby Veil. Now, this is another one I think could go either way, a four or five. I'm not really, I can't remember exactly what this is about. It just says, I always get what I want. Cunning and unapologetic, Emilia Ragono, something like that, is a socialite who plays by her own rules. In her most ambitious move yet, she's about to marry Alessandro Okay, this is the one where um, she accidentally does something and, like, the water, water supply is cut short or they lose wa water support, water altogether or something like that. And she has to, and they get all upset with her and she has to find a way to restore the water, I think. But I think that's another one that could be or And this one as well, Among the Beast and Briars by Ashley Poston. Now, this one I read a couple pages, only 18, page, page 18. And this one I'm not really sure too much about either. It's about, oh, this is the one where, um, 
like there's a, a virus or something going on no curse there's a bit of a curse in her ma in in her blood in her magic i mean says now cares carries a small bi bit of the curse the magic in her blood a reminder of the day she lost everything and she has to go on the run with a little irritating fox as a companion and that's all i need to know because he's yeah, cute so these all four of these could go either way now i got a big pile this one i you guys i just told this yesterday if you guys watch my my barnes and noble video this is one of a lot of these are my most i mean not all these but a couple of these were yeah one one two three four were real i mean were some of my most anticipated reads of this month and this is definitely the one i really really think out of all these had the best shot of being five stars Ugh, i'm already like intrigued and I only read a couple pages. I'm a, I just read the prologue, so only 16 pages. And it's so good already. Like, she's a witch? I didn't even know. <laughs> I forgot all about her being a witch. And they're supposed to get married. They don't want to. Then they do something. And then they, you know. It's one of those ones where they don't realize that, that they're the ones that they're supposed to marry. You know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. That's all I'm going to say. I don't really want to ruin it, but I went more detail in my, uh, you know, in my Barnes & Noble book haul. So, you want to know more. And this one, I didn't put in my um, most anticipated reads that I talked to you guys about when I did my video, but I did have it for it anyways. I just didn't mention it in that video because I didn't want to, you know, talk about all the books that I was anticipating. This is The City of the Plague God by Surit Chanda. Chanda? I'm so sorry if I blew the name, the author's name. And I know that this God, this plague thing thinks that her brother stole something. And I don't know if he's dead or if he's missing, but um, the brother. But she um, has to try to find it or he's going to, what you call it, the whole city? Le or release a plague on the whole city or something like that. There's a couple of he on here that are actually middle grade. I didn't put very many middle grades, but yeah. This one, most of Rick Riordan present books, I give five stars. So that's why I either give four or five. But this one, it says like Percy Jackson and stuff like that. And Percy Jackson, besides the first couple, were all five stars so far. So I'm really excited about this one. And I really, really hope it's going to be five stars. Then we got, I do not know how to say this name still, Latus, I don't know, but it's Dar It's by Darcy Little Bagger, Badger. I don't even if I told you all the people's names, did I? I'm sorry if I didn't, rem if I didn't say all the author's names, but all I know about this is it has something to do, is she, can she talk to God, I mean a ghost or something, let me see. It's a slightly strange America. Oh, she can rise the, she can raise the ghost of the dead animals. That's a skill that's passed through generations of Lipen, Lipen. Sorry if I pronounce that wrong. Apache family. And then her cousin gets murdered in a town that wants no prying eyes. But she is going to do more than pry. This picture perfect facade of Willow B. Mask gruesome secrets, and she will lie on her wit, skills, and friends to tear off the mask and protect her family. I know uh, I heard about this through um, Books and Lala. Books, yeah. Kayla from Books and Lala. And she loves this book, and I really, really think I'm going to love it, and I can't wait to read it. A lot of these I'm hoping to read in the next couple of months, besides this one. This one, I can't remember again because I, did, I forgot to write it down again, but um, Drew and one of his friends there um, do it at book club. And I think this is either for June or July, Cemetery Boys. I wanted to read this last year, but I just wasn't able to. I read like eight pages in it, so I did start it. But then other books got in the way. But I just 
have this feeling I'm gonna love this book. Like everybody does and just the few pages I read did intrigue me. And I'm really excited about his other book that's coming out. That will probably be on a video later in the year for five star prediction. I think that comes out in March, but I probably won't get to it till June. So even if I don't finish all these books by June, I will still um, do a new one in June. And that one, his cousin, I think, gets killed. And he wants to to find out who killed him. Or he wants to raise his cousin for some reason. But instead, um, someone else gets raised. That's all I really know. And then we got Last Night at the Telegraph Club by Melando, Melando Lowe. Oh, did I tell you that was by Adian Thompson? <laughs> Just in case I didn't, that's by Adian Thompson. This one is a female-female um, um, romance, historical romance, fiction, you know. And all I know is that it, it's, I think their love is forbidden or something like that. And I don't really know too much. But it's definitely something that intrigued me when I first heard about it. I'm really hoping I love this because I'm not really that huge historical person of reading historical books. But this one just looks like it has so many interesting things and it's during war. And it just seems like it's going to be very beautiful but sad. And hopefully it's going to end happily. But you never know. We got two more physical ones and then... I will show you the ones, talk about the ones that are on, that I'll just show you on, through my phone. And then we got Amara, Amari, and the Knight Brothers by B.B. Austin, Austin. I just love this cover. Look how beautiful. I know I showed this yesterday, but if you didn't watch my book haul, then you wouldn't have saw it. But oh my God, it's so beautiful. So shiny. And this one, her brother, does he die or go missing? Yeah, her brother goes missing and he leaves a briefcase and for her to go to like a magical school or something. And I don't really know too much, even though I just read about it yesterday. But I just know that 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 it has a lot of things that I like, like school setting, uh, magic, somebody going missing, someone trying to find the person, why battling other things. It just looks really good. And I just love all shiny. And then this one is actually Robin's copy, but I'll be getting mine soon. And this one I'm super excited for. Like, oh my God, soon as I saw this cover and and um and saw what the sim uh, the thing was, what it was about, I was like, yes, please, yes, please. And I love um why do I always forget the name of that series that she wrote that I love? Uh, you know, um, oh my gosh, my mind went completely blank on the series name. But you guys probably know what I'm talking about. You guys are probably yelling at me like, Lori, Lori, Lori. We know. Why can't you remember? The Darkest Minds. But this is by Alexandra Backman. And this is about lore. And something happens, and she don't want no part of it. But then she meets these two gods. I think they're both gods. Or a best friend and a god. Okay, childhood friend who believed that Lore was dead. And Athena, one of the original gods. She finds them, and they offer her an alliance to do something. I'm not going to spoil it in case you want to find out on your own and read it. But I'm so excited. If anybody wants a buddy read lore with me, let me know. I think it would be fun to read lore. So let me know. I'm super excited. But this one, like I said, is Robin's copy. I'll be getting mine soon. Okay, now we'll go through. This is going to be kind of long, you guys. I'm sorry. But you guys know my videos are always long. Sorry, I had to take a sip of tea in my throat. Mm -mm. Okay, this one, oh my gosh, this one, they are saying it has, um, 
if you like red, white, and royal blue and something else. I don't know what the other one is, but red, white, and royal blue, I love. And I know Beautiful Bookish Bethany is reading this right now. And so far, she's really liking it, at least during her last update. It's called Winter's Orbit, or Orbit by Erin Air Everin Maxwell. One match can light up an empire. Look at this. This is a Mel Mel romance. You guys know Red, White, and Royal Blue is my favorite romance book. At least Mel Mel romance book. And if this is going to give me any of those feels. I'm so super excited. So I definitely think this one <laughs> is going to be five stars. All I know is that they have to, like, they're from two different worlds, I guess, or something like that. I'm not really sure. But I just know they, they're they supposed to get married for some reason. It says, in, in ciliar? I don't know how you say this word. A-N-C-I-L-L-A-R-Y justice meets red, white, and royal blue. It says, a, fa a famously disappointed minor royal and the empire's least favorite grandchild, Prince Keem, Kim, Kim, K I E M, is surrounded by, I mean, summoned by the Empire and Commander to renew the Empire's bond with its newest vessel, planet. The prince must marry, marry Count Vannon, Vinnen, something like that, the recent widower of, an, of another royal prince of the Empire. But Janin, or Janin, Jayin, Jayin, suspects his. Late husband's death was no accident. And Prince Kim discovers Jinin, Jian, Jian, Jian is a suspect himself. But broken bonds between the Empire and its vessel planets leave the entire Empire volu vol voluble. So together they must prove that their union is strong while uncovering a possible conspiracy. Their successful marriage will align conflict in worlds. Their failure would be the end of the empire. Oh my gosh, you guys, just reading that gives me chills. It just sounds so good. Like, oh my gosh, I just want it now and I want to read it. The only thing is, is I want to like do, like in um, June, I wanted to read like for two weeks, like, you know, like male, male romances, female, female, whatever, you know. Just LGBTQ+. plus books for like two weeks and I want to like just have fun you know this one just sounds like it'd be perfect for that during that month but I know as soon as I get it in um in February I'm gonna be like I want to read it now so I don't know we will see but that that one I'm super excited about then we got this book I don't know why some of these are like they just sound I mean they just some of these I'm just like given five stars just from the cover and just a little bit that I read this one is called City of the Uncommon Uncommon Thief by Lynn Bertrain Bertrain a lot of these you'll see in my five star I mean not my five star my my most anticipated books for the first four months of the year but some of these I just found so they won't be on there It says this is a is this is a dark and in, intricate intricate how you say that fantasy city of the uncommon thief is a story of a quarantined city gripped by fear and the war that can free it. Gilders, workers, foundlings scrub their bags. Need, needles bend, swords tear, and men leave. There is nothing uncommon in the city. I hope Errol. The Thebus, something like that, is dead. We both know he's safer that way. In a walled city of a, of a mile-high iron guild tower, many things are common knowledge. No book in any of the city's library reveals its place on a calendar of a, or a map. No, even, no, live, no living beast can be found within the city's wall, and no good comes to the gilder or foundling who trespasses too far from their labors. That's all I'm going to tell you guys about that because it just looks good. But I'll put it like on here in case you want to like read it yourself what it's about. But that one, oh my gosh. When I read about that one, I was like, yes, please. Here's another one that looks really good. 
They don't have the um, date on for the paperback here yet, but I think it's like on the net, on the, what you call it, says the 23rd. This one is called, it's by Jennifer Gunick, something like that. It's called Of Silver and Shadow. It says, Rebellion is a Deadly Game. <sighs> like just that tagline. Let me see. I think it might show you down here. Yeah, it comes out the 26th, actually. It, and I'll just read you a little bit. It says, the players, this is just the uh, ex expert. So I'll just read you what the beginner expert says. The player slapped his cards against the table, leaned back in his chair, and grinned. Impressive hand, Wren said. She would know. She crafted it. But better luck next time. I'm not going to tell you what the rest says, but now I'll tell you a little bit about what the story actually, what the description says. It says, Wren Collins, Collins, or Collins, some of that, is a silver wielder, a dangerous thing to be in the kingdom of Eridus, where magic has been outlawed for, cent for a century. Wren is just trying to survive, stick into a life of petty thievery, card games, and pit fighting to get by. But when a wealthy rebel leader discovers her secret, he offers her a fortune to join the, his revolution. The Kevit, she won't see a single coin until they overthrow the king. That's all I'm going to say about that one. <laughs> but it looks good, too. It's a big book, 480 pages, so almost close to 500 pages. That looks so good. I got a few more. Of course, the next one is in a series, and all the other ones I gave four or five stars. And even though I'm not a big fan of Nessa, so I'm already giving away to a lot of people if they read it already, the other ones, I just love, um, my mind went blank on his name. My mind always goes blank on his name. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so bad at remembering names. Kate, Kate, Kasson, Kasson, I always forget how you say that name. His name, but anyways, I love him, so I'm hoping since I love him so much and I started warming up to Nessa a little bit, I understand her more, so I don't dislike her as much as I did. But anyways, so I think a Court of Silver Flames is going to be either a four or five. I don't see it being below a four, but I really think it's going to be a five. I just have that feeling. Let's do two more. Another one that looks good is called the Shadow War by Lindsay Smith. And I love this cover. So many beautiful covers this year, you guys. A lot of these don't come out until the end of February. So it'll be like March, April time frame before I read it. I'm just going to read you a little bit. It says, the description says, In Glorious Beastery meet Stranger Things in this dark and thrilling tale of power, shadow, and revenge set during World War II. Another war book, you guys. World War II is raging, and five teens are looking to make a mark. Daniel and Rebecca seek revenge against the Nazis who slaughter their family. Simone is determined to fight back against the oppressors who ruined her life and corrupted her girlfriend. Philip aims to prove that he's He's better than his worst mistake, and Liam is searching for a way to control the portal to the shadow world he uncovered, and the monsters that live within it before the Nazi regime can do the same. When the five meet and begrudgingly team up in the forests of Germany, none of them knows what their future might hold. Gosh, you guys know me. I love books with portals in it and stuff, so, oh my gosh, sounds so good. Okay, last one. This one, I think, is going to be more of a chance of a four than a five because I'm the unpopular opinion, and I did not like Sadie by her. But that's The Project by Courtney Summers. A lot of people love Sadie. I couldn't finish it. It wasn't that the writing was bad. It was just too dark for me and too sad. I just couldn't do it. But hopefully this one I will be able to really read. And I love books that deal with cults. It says, the Unity Project saved my life. It says, Lou Denham is used to being on her own. After her parents died, Lou's sister, B, joined the Unity Project, leaving Lo, or Lou, Lo, L-O, is it Lo or Lou? 
in the care of her great of their great aunt. I mean, thanks to extended charitable work and community outreach, the Unity Project has won in their hearts and minds of most in the upstate New York region. Region, but lo knows there's more to the group than meets the eye. She spent the last six years of her life trying and fell in to prove it. The Unity Project murdered my son. It says, when a man shows up at the magazine, Lowe works to, for claiming the Unity Project killed his son, Lowe, or Lou, su sees the perfect opportunity to expose the group and to reunite with B once and for all. With her investigation, puts her in the direct path of its charismatic and mysterious leader, Lee, Liv, or Liv, I think it's Liv, Liv, Warren, he proposed a deal. If she can prove the worst of her suspicions about the Unity Project, she may expose them. If she can't, she must leave them alone. And then some, some other stuff it says. But that's all I'm going to say because <laughs> this video is almost, tw is almost 30 minutes already. Hi, everybody. Sorry about that. Something happened and it just cut off. But I was just going to end it anyways. I was just going to say, if you guys let me know first, I was going to say, let me know what books um, you think are going to be four or five stars. Um, let me know if any of the books that I mentioned that are coming out in February, do you think might be something that you guys are interested in? If you're not already, if you haven't already heard about them and yeah, just let me know down below a couple of things that you think might be five stars. They don't have to be new books. It could be an old book. It don't matter. Let me know do, if you think any of these, if you read any of these, let me know. Do you think I'm right? Do you think you guys know usually what I like and don't like. So let me know if you think that I'm right about these. And they probably all be in four or five stars. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I was going to say. Oh, and again, if anybody wants a buddy read lore with me, let me know. Or any of these other books, I can prioritize. And let me know with you when would be a good time. And we can prioritize it that way. Like, it, I could always read um, Winter's Orbit before um june if anybody wants i mean if anybody like gets it and wants the buddy read it before then that's fine i can always reread it in june because i know i'm going to do a book diary for that book because i'm so excited you guys but yeah i'm gonna let you guys go and i hope you guys all have a good two a good thursday or wednesday i don't know what day this is going to be up either tonight or tomorrow so i hope you have a good wednesday evening or thursday day <laughs> and yeah Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys that are watching but haven't subscribed will think about subscribing and becoming part of the Chatty Bookworms videos, family, whatever you want to say. Um, yeah, you guys know the drill. If you guys like this video, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. And if you do subscribe, remember to hit that bell icon. So you'll know whenever a video like this is up for your viewing pleasure. And until next time, I hope your days are sunny and bright. And that this world starts getting better soon. Between the virus and everything else that's going on in this world. We need some happy days. So I hope that happens for all of us. I love you guys so much. <laughs>